So the models that University of Calgary and uh, VSI co-development has been using in 33 countries in the world, right? Would you give us a comment about that? So I think that what if I think we have to take a step back and look at simulators in veterinary medicine because simulators in veterinary medicine is really important so that students can have the skills and the knowledge on something that's safe that they're not worried about the live animals and so being able to create simulators and work with the company to be able to do what will work for the students and for the teaching is really important so that each simulator can be used before we then do on live animals in a lot of places including here we, we can't always get cadaver um, yeah. animals so animals that have been um, passed away or been euthanized and so being able to then use a model that can be a safe environment for a student is really important for educational purposes of them. And so, you know, when we look at what makes a good simulator, it doesn't, it, having all the bells and whistles is amazing, but even some of the smaller simulators make a huge difference in terms of the students feeling confident by the time that they get to a live animal. And so working on how does it, that simulator feel or how does it reproduce the live animal is important as well to make sure that the students have a, in, in special occasions, really realistic experience with them. Okay. So I think regardless of what country you're in, you're going to have the same yeah. kinds of difficulties and the students are going to need the same kinds of experiences in order to have the, 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 get the technical skills and the clinical skills that they need to be quality veterinarians. Thank you. And, um, could you give us a comment about uh, their models? Japanese university faculty or students using the models? So I think that as I I think that using the models is been a, a huge benefit in, to students to have simulators available. Um, one of our um, kind of sayings that we say here is that not all practice is perfect. Yeah and you need to get to that perfect practice because you need to be able to practice it and get the skill down perfectly. And so if you don't have something that you can practice it and you're doing things wrong, you're practicing it wrong continually. And so models allow students to have that time to keep doing the skill over and over again until they become perfect and proficient at it. And um, it, it, it's just a huge benefit for students to be able to use simulators and to use models to repeatedly do the same skills to make sure that they are getting the appropriate um, uh, steps down from one to five or whatever it is, um, which they wouldn't be able to do that many times if they didn't have the model. So it can just be um, a huge benefit to any veterinary student to be able to practice and um, ensure that other people can watch them while they're doing it as well, which um, when you think about a horse, if they're doing a rectal palpation, the, their instructor can't see what they're doing, but you can see inside the horse to be able to tell them you're too far back or you're too far forward. So it's just improving that practice aspect so that um, they can get immediate feedback as well. Last question, uh, why do you think their models has been very popular in the world? Um, I think when we look at models that are popular, the things that come out are, do they simulate what you're trying to simulate? Mm -hmm. And do they, do the stu are the students able to do procedures multiple times? And then also do the, the models last for that and so by creating three of those major things that we look for in a model that's really important to be able to um, teach with that. <laughs>